Hello everyone, my name is Game Master, and welcome back to Stay. So in the last episode, we, he went up to the attic, through through the through the through the fucking chimney. Uh, no, not through the chimney. He went. He found a hidden door in the, in the fireplace, just in like in the Resident Evil Seven, and he found this Anubis, half man, half jackal, god of uh, uh, embambling. Isn't it uh, the god of death? Yeah, he, he he measures health and death. All right. Okay. Wait, what? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hey, comrade, are you there? Uh, just made two major discoveries. That big threat was uh, an uh, upsetting real life size statue of some Egyptian god, and that that the weapon has no bullets. Uh, how do I know? You may ask. Well, let me tell you one thing. I wasn't so uh, he hesitant to shoot a stranger as I thought it would be, which is a bit disturbing, to say the to say the least. Man, this half man, half dog creature is really creepy. No wonder it ended up covered in a forgotten corner of the attic. And that's not all. It holds a tray. And there's something written on it. What's the message? He trusts me not at all. It says you're doomed and will be turned into a mummy real soon. Kidding. It says something <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. In order to go up, you must go down first. Great helpful. Great, helpful as usual. So basically, it says, I'm fucked. I have a locked box and a warning to keep digging the dirt downwards. Or just... I'm probably going in circles here and someone's having a real blast watching me trying to give meaning to all this nonsense. So much junk and nothing worthwhile or meaningful. Story of my life. Just... He, maybe he means go down the stairs? And then go so go up the chimney. All right. The roof. If you're in the attic, you must be close to the roof. Search for another way out. Do it. Trust. Please don't trust me. Trust me. Fuck. Of course. Well thought. Thank you. That's very nice of you. The light here is not bright enough for all uh, for the uh, for the all attic, so I can't see if there's any exit points or anything like that. <gasps> How the fuck did you know that there was a flashlight there? You know, I would get scared like ten times already by the cat. First time I met the cat, would get scared. Uh, the second time, it just turned on the flashlight, just boom. All right. Guess what? A hatch. I finally found some found something handy in this graveyard of memorabilia. Uh, a wonderful torch that will enlighten my path of salvation. The light pointed directly to a small entrance, a l the little door, almost hidden behind all these boxes, just in, like in Coraline. Okay, go go through it, and you'll you'll meet your uh, secondary parents, man. No, I'm kidding. Um, cool. Open it. So he's just gonna crawl through a little area now. I already know that because I've seen the trailer of this game. He trusts me more. Yay. An entrance uh, to somewhere else doesn't always mean a good thing. At least I'm not, at least not in this house. At least not in this house. But I gotta say that it could be worse, right? Cause I could be that by now. But I, I but I have you to keep me alive and give me tips about how to stay alive and shit. I'm I'm just imagining it. Uh, what he's gonna say because I don't get to read it. It's like the text and you, you're not allowed to read it no more. Sculptures. Sculpting. 
plants. It's a lot of dead plants in a greenhouse. That was this glass dome ceiling. Destroy the ceiling. Goodness gracious me. I just found the most amazing greenhouse full of plants and flowers. And a bit neglected, I gotta say. It's a bit neglected, I gotta say. It's They're all dead. It has this sort of creeping... God damn it! Give me a chance to fucking read the message! There's two plants that's still alive. Pretty surprising. <gasps> Look at his face! <laughs> He's like, <gasps> What the fuck? Nani? <laughs> Uh, uh, mildew and most of the plants are dried up, curled and brown. But I gotta say, it just lift, lifted my spirits a bit. It's a gr gr glass house with a wooden structure, and it's bathed in moonlight. Beautiful. But surprisingly, there are a few alive and well. Like they were recently watered and groomed. One is definitely a, a carnivorous plant, and it's got flies stuck to it. And the other looks like a, pe a petunia. Uh, and there are some willows. Uh, animos. <laughs> Anemones. Anemones. Uh, and others that I don't have the slightest idea of what they're called. There's something attached to the carnivorous plant, to uh, and to the petunia. Carnivorous plant. The other, the other one must uh, be a trap because it couldn't be alive. If all the others are half dead. Okay. Nope. I'm going for the petunia. Alright, fine. Ya yeah, asshole. <laughs> this looks like a flower plucked about 10 seconds ago. It's the jewel of the garden. Well, everything else is dead, so I suppose. Although, I never liked petunias. But I'm saying it out loud. PETUNIA! Cool. That's the thing about flowers, I guess. Common sense has tell us flowers makes us happy. Even the ones you never liked. What's behind there, buddy boy? Tell me. I want to know. Give me all your secrets. I, I, I can feel fresh air on my legs. Uh, after what seemed like ages, I'm going out. I'm not even asking you if I should. Sorry. This is amazing. I'm on, on, on a roof under the most beautiful sky. I'm walking, but I can't see much. It's too dark. Enjoy the fresh air. I am enjoying it for the first time in a while. Never thought I could feel so good. Uh oh. 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 What's that? Is the moon? Half moon. Yeah, it's pretty. Holy shit, this game looks awesome. But you're right, nothing like a beautiful moon to lighten your spirit. One step further, and I would not be here to yell you the rest of the story. I'm heading back and, uh, and I'm following that dog head's head orders. I'm going down. I'll talk to you once I'm down uh, uh, down under. Is that what it said? Or does it say down there? Oh well.
this real this game really makes you think that you're actually like talking to him. It's fucking awesome. I love it. Yeah. Slip a slide. <laughs> I bet he like that. <laughs> Why is there a peacock there? Cool, open it, yeah. Alright. Chapter 11. Morales. Oh, backstory. I mean, backtracking. Is that what it's called? Probably. Egyptian. He was studying about Egyptians. <gasps> It's a brick wall behind him. Hey, stranger. Do you copy? You see, like, in some kind of dungeon now? It seems like a, 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 I, I'm about to discover the catacombs of this place. Catacombs. Um, and from what I was able to see, it's a pretty daunting task. But here I am, following orders from uh, inanimate objects and pretty flowers to go down and gather elements. That will help me open the little box I found. I don't recall you finding a box. <laughs> Which can uh, contain something as use. Oh yeah, in the chest. As useful as someone's first cut curl or a secret sex tape. Anyways, get a look on the opaku, opaku side of life. Uh, and grab onto the, uh, the little hope I still have. Of finding something that will tip the fuck you game. Oh wow. Ha what? I'm supposed to find something in these. Move your ass. Move your ways. I'm just gonna press on all of them. I have no idea what this what the fuck this is. Now what? What? Peacock. One, two. It just goes up like that. And then activate these two. And then, um. This one. Are you gonna do it now? Oh! Oh! How the fuck are you supposed to figure that shit out? I have no clue. Maybe the peacock said something, or it gave some shit or something. It gave out some. Are you still there? This is bad hombre speaking. After quite a difficult path. Uh, beset all by all manners of traps and shenanigans. A royal peacock walking around. I'm not reading all that. Fuck that. And losing feathers everywhere. 
feather. Yes, I swear it's true. I made it alive and kicking. I am so damn tired, but I can't stop, won't stop. God damn it, give me time to read the shit. Oh, he found the kitchen. I believe. Damn it, I was looking on my phone. I missed a lot of messages there. I thought. Interlude. So what do you guys think about this game so far? I mean, this, this is episode 4. Obviously, but still, what do you guys think of it? We're like halfway through the game now. <laughs> it's just um, pretty cool. That, um... Uh, the game is pretty long. Is it, is it an indie game? I want to think it is a, an indie game, but I'm not 100% sure about that. It looks like an indie game, but at the same time not. I mean, it's so well developed. In the story and just the puzzles are all bullshit, but it's 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 pretty much well made. At least the fucking uh, the brick one was bullshit. I, I just don't un didn't understand shit. What the fuck was that all bull? Alright, are you gonna do something, man? Man, man, you gotta do some. Man, come on. I can't be funny. Yeah, you game. Game, do something now. I can't just sit here and talk for all day. I mean, I basically do that when I play, but I if I don't play, I got no topic to talk about. You know, like, um, um, alright, let's just talk about that. Ah, look at that lamp. They, there are two lamps are turned off. Is, is that a chess? <gasps> you gotta play chess? Chapter 12. Culine. C or Culine. Killin' 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 I I don't fucking know. Jeez. I seem to have reached the heart of this place. In other words, the kitchen. Although this one this one looks more like Hell's Kitchen. K kitch kitchen. Not that TV show with that blonde uh, bloke who says fuck every two seconds. <laughs> You see what time? What? How many? How many? How much I'll play the game? Two hours, twenty-two minutes. It's great. There's nothing but havoc and destruction here. Rotten cabinets, the refrigerator from requiem for a dream, and a table with <coughs> with some hybrid game that crosses chess with the humanji. Uh, sorry about all the movie references. <laughs> it's it's easier to, uh, than describing it accurately. I'm lazy. Uh, and I just stepped on what, what I hope is a puddle of water. Barefoot. Maybe it's blood. I can't tell because, you know, this place has the light of an opium house. However, I've, go I've gone being restricted to a single room to be able to, uh, to s access several areas of what, ha uh, what appears to be an, an abandoned house. Yeah. I've seen all of those movies that you referenced up there. So, you proud of me? You proud of me, Quinn? <laughs> Alright. Uh, knives. 
I don't want to alarm you, but given the state of that kitchen, we could potentially be facing someone extremely violent. Look for some weapon, like the kitchen knives or some. That's actually very clever. That made him trust me more. Kisses everywhere. To tell you the truth, I didn't ex inspect the kitchen yet. You just did. You dig. You even digged on the ground. Are you crazy? Stabbing someone is even worse than that. That shooting them, super messy and harder than the most people imagine. Uh, but just to settle your nerves, I'll look for something. Excellent. I'm checking the drawers, but all I found was an old rusty knife. Again, I don't plan on using it in any way. Not even cutting cables? Or rope? Unless I found something to eat that needs to be peeled, cut or scrubbed. And a silicone spatula. Wait a minute. While I search for one of these spiralier, spiral spiralizers. <laughs> Besides that, nothing else but mold and dust. The usual scenario. I'm getting a a a anxious. They're therefore hungry as a wolf. Mm. Check the fridge, man. First thing I do is check the fridge. Mr. Fridge. I'm not sure if that's a wise decision. Decision. I just took a close look at the fridge. Is it booby trapped? And although it's plugged in, it doesn't mean that that whatever's in there isn't past uh, expiration, expiration or uh, even grow growing gross little c colonies. It could all be putrid and r rank. That I'm that it might come alive and want to eat me instead. You should know. Uh, by now that all confined spaces in this house have now have to be handled with caution I, uh, are you are uh, are you sure it's the right call do it come on maybe it contains something else useful do it is he gonna open like fucking open it but like being beside it for real I mean for real I really thought you you would uh, sense my discomfort and suspicion. You should see how this fridge look. How this fridge looks, not how it look. Uh, I know that you sh uh, should never judge a book by its cover. In this case, a fridge uh, by its dingy floor. But it really gives me the heebie-jeebies. He heebie jeebies uh, So much uh, I... So much that I could n nearly I ignore my hunger, but that's not an option anymore. Open sesame. No. No. Did he die? He died. No, I didn't even know. God damn it. Oh, that's clever. You gotta press restart. Will I restart the whole game or just um, that chapter? Oh, thank God. All right. Cool. Hey, okay, so I gotta wait for all of this again. Piece of shit. Is it a light screen down there? I turned that one green! Whoa! 
I'm a master in the skies. You learn something every day, people. Alright, let's go to these then. Oh, this is really neat. Boom. And then, what was this? This is my way. Damn, you're fucking detected with this shit. Holy shit. It's so fucking weird. Puzzles are so fucking hard. And I can pull this off. I can find this on YouTube or Google. Anything. If I did just cross my eye when it fucking blew down here and then I got another person on the right spot. Oh, the right side of the view. That's amazing. Okay, okay, well done. Good work. Good work. There we go. Holy shit. Holy shit. Suck on my balls, game! God damn! These fucking puzzles, man! Ah! Holy crap, that's a fucking brainstorm! Hey, still there? Sorry. But I guess that when my your mind is busy with something else, you forget to eat. So I tried to solve the humanji thing, humanji thing, and something came out. Don't worry, no crazy hunter, just a doorknob. Weird. Everything in there, my good. Yeah, okay, let's go with this one. Don't you go all, m don't you go all mystical on me. When the only thing I can think of is donuts. Uh, you know, you know that you only realize a piece of, uh, of uh, a piece is missing at the end of the game, right? And as long we don't, uh, as long as we don't see it yet, means that we have more time, some more time left. Wait, I was checking the kitchen and I think I saw something. I'm gonna go ahead and go look at it. BRB. It's a door. No, no, I'm not doing it on the puzzle. <gasps> lucky cookies. Is that is that what they're called? Fortune cookies, not lucky. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right. Chapter thirteen. We'll do in the next episode. <laughs> Fortuna. If you guys like this video, press the like button. And if you want to see more. Subscribe, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.